Good morning guys. Gage and I woke up to that. Nasty winter stuff. It is here. What do you think of that, buddy? First snow of the season. Get it. Get some. Do you remember that? Hey? Do you remember that? He doesn't remember. You gotta back up. I can't kick snow in your face if you don't back up. I know you want me to. You're too close. Oh, I'm totally gonna have to charge that battery after. I have not touched the machine since last spring, so it's been sitting there for seven months. We'll have to get it out, clean it up, charge the battery. Tis the season. No tripod. I've decided who has time for that. I just want to go for a walk. We'll handhold the AX700 and I'll show you guys some beautiful fresh snow. So here is the snow machine trail, the start of it. <laughs> the old trail used to go through there, but it's so wet this year. I think we're going to go around that wet part of the swamp. The swamp is wet everywhere, including down that other trail I showed you. So, it doesn't really matter where I go. I just hope it's not over my boots. <laughs> Usually it's not over my boots right here at the beginning of the swamp. You got to get quite a ways back there before it gets that deep. A little wet, eh, buddy? Well, so once we get over here to the 90 acre trail, it's not so wet. Look at that, it's just so beautiful. I did call it yesterday we were out metal detecting and I said today could be the end of the season you never know. I have looked ahead at the forecast and it is supposed to be zero degrees on Monday. So maybe all of this will melt and we can start over. Maybe we can still do some metal detecting. I'm not sure but we're right at the edge of that season where it's going to be changeover and this is what you guys are going to see for the next four months. <laughs> 
four-wheeler update. So I got a call yesterday afternoon saying the four-wheeler is in. It won't be ready until next Tuesday, so I gotta wait five more days. And even then they still don't have the plow for me. I can't get a plow until January, as I told you guys. So I'm gonna pick up the bike anyway, and maybe if this stuff melts, or if we don't get any more, we've only got three, four inches here, I could still take the bike out. We could still go for a drive somewhere out behind my dad's. Uh, you know, review it, do some photography, test the bike out in the snow. I know guys who don't live up here don't understand, but four-wheelers are no good in snow. They just aren't. Uh, you get more than six inches of snow, you might as well park that bike because you're not going anywhere. I forgot my phone at the house. This uh, AX700 does do photos, so I'm just gonna snap a couple in photo mode. I don't know what they're gonna turn out like, but we'll try it. I have never tried it. I think they're like 14 megapixel or 16 megapixel images, so yeah, we'll try it. forgot we've got full manual control here so instead of having me so dark we'll just blow the background out a little bit and you guys can see me that is the one thing I love about this camcorder is full manual control well that and the image quality is outstanding as well cold and beautiful out here today my cheeks are getting rosy I love it I love it for the first week that's just weird. I come around the corner and I see that up in the air. So Dave obviously cut this, but why? Uh, that's weird. <laughs> I guess he just cut the bottom off and left that there. Hey, that's kind of a cool photo right there. We better take that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Dave's handiwork because as far as I know Sam Squinch don't know how to use a chainsaw yet so now Dave kind of looks like a Sasquatch Tom's got some photos by the way Dave is Tom's father-in-law he lives two doors down from us so and he owns uh, the property that most of the 90 acre trail is on so that's who Dave is Activity update, none, no activity. Uh, since the end of hunting season, there has been nothing. So during hunting season, we got one night where there was all kinds of whistling and weird noises out there, which video is on the channel guys. But since that night, absolutely nothing going on here. And that seems to be the case most of the winter. Now, there are videos, as you, some of you guys have pointed out, where we do get screams and whistles and things with snow on the ground, so you never know. We're gonna stay vigilant this year. We're gonna do sound, audio, parabolic recordings. We're gonna be out here in the swamp looking for uh, orbs and light anomalies and stuff like that all winter. 
star photography, northern lights if we get any. Um, so all kinds of outdoor stuff so you never know what we'll find but as of right now no activity in the swamp. So Gage has obviously fully recovered. I don't know what was wrong with him. The day we went for a bush drive he came home and the next day he couldn't even go up the stairs. He was limping that bad. So it, it took him about four days of just laying around the house. And then uh, I took him out and, you know, we walked around the yard and went for a walk down the road. But it's hard to keep him keep him still. Right now he's running back. He, he's fully recovered. So I don't know what he did, but he's feeling better. Are you feeling better, buddy? I thought so. All I know for sure is that somewhere out here Sasquatch has a pair of green camo warm fall gloves because I can't find them. They are not on this trail. He took them and headed south I think. Maybe another photo? All right guys, I'm getting tired of holding this camera out at arm's length, so I'm gonna call it quits here. Hope you guys enjoyed the beautiful scenery today. It is just, it, it is amazing. I'm loving it for the moment. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next adventure.